Hi guys, it's Alawanza and I have a testimony how when I began to obey God and, and die to this flesh, you know, we're not in the flesh, but I began to get control over this body. And I um, realized that this body belonged to Jesus Christ and we are members of his um of his body. So everything that you see, you look at me, you're looking at Jesus Christ. These hands, this neck, <laughs> these eyes. So when I began to go through that, I have many things where I had to bring this, um, where I just couldn't just do whatever this body wanted to do. Like when it wanted to eat, when it wanted to use the bathroom, when it wanted to rest or sleep. So those things that I'm, I'm going to mention right now and explain how I um, got over that. So <clears throat> the first thing was when it came to eating. I was called God. In my ear heard him. God spoke um, to a 40 day fast. And I was just like, OK, I didn't have any doubts. I didn't have anything because I didn't never know. I just thought it was something normal that regular Christian people do. You know, it's the number in the Bible. People did it in the Bible. I've never known anybody. I didn't know no Christians anyway. So I didn't really, you know, that church folk wasn't in my repertoire. Like I just didn't know them. So um, and the ones and the ones that I knew from back in the day, all they they did three day fast to my knowledge. And I don't know if they did anymore. So anyway, this relate. OK, drill it in, Toya. Pull it back in. OK, Alonzo, you got this. So. To be a teacher of the word and well work in spreading the good news in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Fasting. Fasting was how I brought this body with the, um, I killed it to just eating, you know, so, um, not eating, like, you know, just, just eating. So did the 40, did, it was called do the 40 day fast, but on day 33, he pulled me out, I broke it. And then, um, but during that time, dry fast and no food, no water. And I didn't know that you lose weight. I didn't know. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't have anybody in my ear. I didn't tell, I told three people. I didn't know anything. I didn't Google it. I didn't do anything. I was like, I don't, I just fast. Okay. And I knew they were dry because nobody in the Bible was eating and drinking. So I figured and assumed like you don't eat and drink. So I just did what I heard according to my knowledge. And um, that, that was where it was. So that was the fast. I did that one and I lost all this weight, which I wasn't even a big person. Like I was like, I was like 130 my whole life. Like what you like, I'm just built that way. And then I got down to like 110, 109, 108. So I was just, I was just, I was just bones. Like, okay. But I didn't, I, I, it happened, but I didn't expect it. I didn't do it for it. Um, I didn't ex ex expect the weakness. I just didn't expect anything. I did not know, you know, and um, I still, you know, it, it, and I'm here today. It didn't, you know, I didn't die. Like life goes on, but that is how I you know. Like if, and that's right there. When God told me to eat, I eat whatever my spirit says. That's what I do. Eating anything other than that. Like when I eat what he tells me to eat, he, he feeds me. Do you know God will feed you before you are even hungry? And I got, and I said, God, I ain't even hungry. Like, you want me to eat now? I ain't even hungry. And he said, why would I wait till you hungry? I know you got to eat. Like, he gave me this whole spiel. Like, and then I actually was like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, why do I got to wait till hunger pains? That's not how he does that. Like, eat. So he, then I learned that, you know, but I only eat like what he told me to eat because he let me know. He said, you'll never gain weight. No, you'll never gain weight again in your life. And I was just like, okay. But it came with listening, only eating. So when I eat, when he tell me to eat, I don't get full. I'm telling y'all, I just be like. And then also like when I'm reading and studying and spending time with him, I don't have an appetite. So that's how I brought this one. I did a fast and I broke that flesh down. And now I eat when he tells me to eat. So I've allowed him into that food area of my life.
So I'm quite happy about that. That's how I, um, I allow him to tell me what to eat, what tastes what foods and then when he feeds me he ministers to me don't you know food is prophetic i have i have extensive notes on what food means and what he's taught me like if he tells me to eat a pizza oh it's it's own like and i don't even eat i don't even care for meat and chicken and and meat period because i just it just take too long to chew it just do too much like you know just i prefer to drink my meals and then rabbit food that's it. Am I vegetarian? No, but those are the foods that I like to eat. Like I don't label myself as a vegetarian, but if I raise my hand, like, is it a meat eaters over here and the, the non-meat eaters? I'm going to non-meat eaters because meat just, it just, I just, it, I'm just one of them people who it is what it is. I'll get protein or whatever another day. So anyway, so I began to, um, I only listen to him and let him tell me what to eat, even if it's down to um, a shake. And Wendy's and Dairy Queen is my favorite place. And I say, Lord, I want some Wendy's. I might tell him on Tuesday, he might give it to me on Thursday. When I don't go get it myself, then when I roll up, I'm talking about everything is fresh. They just did everything. Also, I don't get full. And he ministers to me through that meal. And it's like, I, I, I may even get it free. Or I may meet somebody there I can witness to and tell Jesus about. It's just not some random visit. So what I eat the other days on Tuesday and Wednesday, whatever he tells me or however we do it or if we do or we don't. But then when I get that Wednesday, when I get that blessing from Wendy's, you know it came from him. I know it came from him. Do you understand? Like I wait. So that's that one. That's that testimony. So I'm gonna break them up because they're they're pretty long. So um, I don't want to go too long. So that was the fasting. Um, how I brought my flesh and got control and allowed God into the food area of my life. Just after um, doing a fast, and now I just wait and I'm patient. And I just be like, God, I want to eat some. Like I have food in my house, and I just be like. God, I want to eat. What do you want to eat today? And yesterday, oh my gosh, he's so good. He let me eat sour cream and onion chips. I was so excited because <laughs> I love those chips, but I don't get to indulge in it. Like I enjoy them. So yesterday he was like, grab a bag of, I went to go get a salad, a chopped salad from Subway. I love those. I mean, those are heaven to me. I know other salad places make, but Subway salads, it's just something about them that I chop. So anyway, and then I like to eat mine with sour cream and onion lays. And so I like the crunch and just the texture and I just scoop up the salad with the chip and I just indulge, right? So when he told me to grab a bag, I was so like, I don't want no chips, like... I don't want that right now. And I was like, oh, I can have some chips. And I grabbed them chips. Oh, when I came home, it was like nothing else was around me. So anyway, those are the little, those are the, like the favorite things. And like when he gave me something sweet, like yesterday, before that, no, after that salad or however, yesterday he said, um, call five guys, call them, call because doing everything I said five guys he said a banana shake i didn't even know if they had a banana shake this is how the spirit moves you he was like call five guys and get a banana shake so i went through my phone and found five guys and i said hi sir do you do call in orders like yes and i was like well do you have banana shake he was like yes and i was just like oh my gosh okay can i get a regular banana shake <laughs> <laughs> and i was like but i love the the texture of the oreo chips in there so I was like, God, can I get the, the, the chips in there? So I was able to get something that I like in there, but the banana shake is how he ministered to me. And you know, shake is a milkshake. It's milk, but it's not drinking milk. It's a shake. So I had to, and their shakes are so thick that I had to literally, you know, you got to really suck and pull through that straw. So I had to work for that milk, but the milk was not a liquid. It was in a different form. So, um, but it was still a, a, a new lesson like milk. You finna get something new feed something new to you your new baby in this area where you are right now i can just break down food forever so all right and then the banana is seeds the banana is actually uh is, is it a fruit or vegetable but it has filled seeds so anyway but um to god be the glory i just thank him that's how i did the food that's how we do the food and it makes it so much better and sweeter and enjoyable when um i ask and i wait he answers and provides always so all right guys till next testimony see ya Bye.